Factory. Call me Kim. Maggie Day. Wow, I've, uh, I've never been in a therapist's office before. And you still haven't. <laughs> um, I, I just want to be uh, right up front that, you know, I'm not expecting any big breakthroughs or anything, so, you know, no pressure. Thank you. <laughs> Good. I think this is going well. <laughs> Would you like to make yourself a little more comfortable? Uh, I'll take the chair. I don't think I'm ready for the couch yet. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Maggie. Why don't uh, you start by telling me a little something about yourself? Uh, well, there's not much to tell, really. Um, I live here in Portland, married uh, happily to a doctor, a cardiologist, actually. 19 years. Uh, we have one daughter, um, 18 years old. She's beautiful, very smart. I'm lucky, really. <laughs> Did you leave anything out? Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm starting to be a veterinarian. I think I'm falling in love with another man, and I drive a Honda. <laughs> and are you here because of the Honda? <laughs> no. Is it your daughter? No. Is it the other man? <laughs> well, we'll call that a yes. Why don't you just start at the beginning and tell me everything? Can I lie on the couch? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Two weeks ago, my life was completely normal. According to leading cardiologist Arthur Day, heart disease will continue to be a major cause of death well into the next century. Oh, is that great or what? Well, go heart disease. No, no, leading cardiologist. I'm not just a cardiologist anymore. I'm a leading cardiologist. You know what that means? Means all the other cardiologists have to follow me. Well, I'm proud of you, honey. I was thinking, uh -huh. um, well, you said that you'd help me study for my exam tonight. Uh -huh. Remember when you were in med school and I used to help you study in the bathtub? What if we do that again? Maybe we could make it a weekly thing. Really? Yeah, like a column or something. I could spotlight a different heart inlet every week. <laughs> Hello. Hi, John. Uh Dr. Devin. Oh, ask him if he'd like to take a bath with me tonight. Okay. <laughs> really? My name in Newsview? I had no idea. Uh, what does it say? I'm gonna make him read it to me. <laughs> Morning. Hey. Reg, did you spend the night? No, but so what if he did? Amanda, you know the rules. There are no teenage boys in your bedroom at night. Mom. Well, if I can't, you can. <laughs> Don't have to worry, Mrs. Day. Anyway, I'm gay. Since oh. when? Thursday. He read that all the best artists are gay. Yeah, so I thought I'd give it a try. You know, see if it helps my cartooning? Uh-huh. And are you attracted to other men? Not yet. <laughs> well, good luck. That is your name really in here? Right there. Hey, does anybody want any scrambled eggs? Whoa, that is so cool. And see that? Leading cardiologist? Man, I'd love to be a leading cartoonist someday. Can anybody hear me? You will be, Reg, especially now that you're gay. This better work. Hey, I'm gay, too. Well, I'm off. I have to lecture some first years. Really? What about? Oh, preventive medicine. You see, when a person's heart is in trouble, it gives off warning signs. Just have to know how to spot them. Let's go. Bye, Mom. Later. Maggie. Oh, Meg. Oh, Jack, I can. My husband. Oh, forget about him. He doesn't deserve a woman like you, a woman who can who can light every fiber of a man on fire. Jack, I read in People magazine you were happily married. Yeah, I was, but then I, I saw you in line at the pick and pay, and I knew that I, I had to have you. You're so beautiful and such a smart shopper. Oh, Jack! Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Jack Wagner? Melrose Place, Jack Wagner. Well, my daughter watches it, and I got hooked, so anytime I'm feeling, you know, lonely, I, I see Jack Wagner. 
he's not the man, is oh, he? Oh, no, 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 no. The other man's real. See, I work part-time in a veterinarian clinic, and that's where I met him. <laughs> he's listless. <laughs> Looks OK to me. You hear that, Moby? <laughs> we can go home now. The receptionist says you're OK. <laughs> You'll just have a seat. Dr. Myers will be right out. Dr. Myers? Where's Dr. Babcock? Dr. Babcock just left for Fiji for two weeks. Moby we'll gets skittish around new people. <laughs> I, I hate to break it to you, but Moby has two emotions, dead and alive. <laughs> oh, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. You're all set. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Have a good day. See you, Jake. You're late. I'm really sorry. I'm not usually late. Um, Maggie Day. You're the one who wants to be a veterinarian? Uh, yes. Too bad. Missed something very educational. That little dog passed a tapeworm just now. <laughs> Tania pisiformis. Oh, I'm sorry I missed it. It's an excellent specimen. You can clearly see the segmented strabila. I think it should be dead by now. Ah, uh, here we are. I'm sorry I couldn't resist, but I so had you going. I so had you going. And he's the one you're having feelings for? Well, it didn't start right away. You're all set, Mr. Jenkins. Oh, is everything okay? Oh, your rabbit is fine. This is my fault. We let him roam in the backyard sometimes. I guess he got a little close to the pond. Our duck just attacked him. <laughs> no, no. Don't blame yourself, Mr. Jenkins. In my business, we see this all the time. It's known as the Warner Syndrome. The Warner Syndrome? You know, the idea that ducks and rabbits hang out together? <laughs> We've seen all the cartoons. Duck season, wabbit season, duck season. <laughs> Very funny. Until something like this happens. <laughs> that it? Uh, yep, that's the last one. Oh, uh, Dr. Myers, there's a message here from your wife. She said your dinner got cold an hour ago. You can go do this to yourself. She flatters me. I could never really do that to myself. <laughs> well, looks like I'm free for dinner. You guys want to go across the street and grab something to eat? Oh, I, I'd love to, but I've, I've got plans. Oh, really? Yeah, remember that guy who came in here with the 12 cats who wouldn't let them eat till he sampled their food? Yeah. Well, turns out he's single. <laughs> Hard to believe. Mm. Oh, I know what you're thinking. I'm too good for him. I had a long talk with my mother, and it turns out I'm not. <laughs> How about you, Maggie? Oh, I don't know. I have to study for a zoology exam. Zoology? Piece of cake. I'll help you study over dinner. So I'm like at this crossroads. On the one hand, why shouldn't I go off and study for the test? But on the other hand, I've got a lot of stuff to do, and I'm late as it is. So what'd you say? Why no Uh, A family of sucking lice that live off mammals eating skin debris and blood. And I'll have the same. <laughs> Would you like a few more minutes? Uh, yes, please. So, why do you want to be a vet? I guess because everybody thinks I can't. Like, because I'm 39, I'm over the hill. I'm going to get that diploma, and I'm going to rub their noses in it. How about you? Well, I love animals. <laughs> oh, well, of course. I mean, that's my primary reason, too. I thought you meant, like, your secondary reason after loving animals, which I do, primarily. You hate me, don't No, I don't. I make it a rule never to hate another vet. I tell you who I do hate? It's the RDs. What's an RD? RD. You know, real doctor. As in, like, oh, you're a veterinarian? Oh, you couldn't make it as a real doctor, huh? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to get that all the time. I've never heard of that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you something else. 
It's harder to be a vet than it is to be an RD. Animals can't tell you where it hurts. You have to learn how they think. You have to gain their trust. I, I tell you something, when an animal trusts you, it is the greatest feeling in the world. You know, for someone so goofy, you're really passionate about your work. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'm just as passionate about being goofy. <laughs> so tell me about yourself. You're married. Um, yeah, to an RD. <coughs> <laughs> you know what I said about the RDs? I, it, it's not all RDs, just, um, you know, the specialists. Like the other cardiologist. <laughs> He's a cardiologist, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> you become a doctor? What time is it? Was it because you had some great love of people and you wanted to ease your suffering? Or, or was it because you had a great passion for medicine? Or was it a calling? Or what? Wait, 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 oh, wait, it's all coming back to me. I became a doctor in order to get some patients who would pay a lot of money so we could get a nice house for the big bedroom where I could get some sleep. Mm. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> In the next two weeks, I couldn't wait to get to work in the morning. All right, Maggie, you take the next one. Seriously, me? Go ahead. Thanks. Uh, Amy, send in the next patient, please. He's having nightmares. <laughs> you peed, didn't you? Maybe. <laughs> The more time we spent together, the more time we talked. You know, about everything. About work, our lives, our families, our marriages. This didn't sound so good. What about yours? What do you mean? How's your marriage? My marriage is good. I mean, after 19 years, things change. I think they ought to have a separate word for what love becomes when it's been around a while. You know, like um, a plum becomes a prune or a or a grape becomes a raisin. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's still really nice. It's just not a... a crate. <laughs> so everything was fine until yesterday. Scrambled! Bye, honey! Eggs! <laughs> Maggie. Jack Wagner, what are you doing here? I have to have you. Jack, I can't, I can't, my husband. <laughs> my life is ruined. Here I am, a married woman, and all I can think about is another man. What's wrong with thinking? I was raised a Catholic. They always told us that thinking about adultery was just as bad as committing it. <laughs> oh, my God. I just did it again. I just committed adultery right there on your desk. I couldn't even wait till I got home. I'm a tramp! Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's okay. I don't know how I got through the next few days. I mean, it was all bottled up inside me. You know, the guilt, the desire, the frustration. And then, when it couldn't get any worse, Happy 40th, honey. Yay. Happy birthday, Mama. I hope that you like it. I wanted the wrappage to be a little more festive, but the awful man behind the counter only had this. He was an absolute beast. <laughs> wow, you're getting gayer all the time. Thanks. Uh, you know you're over the hill when. Oh, you got to read them out loud. <clears throat> uh... Uh, you know you're over the hill when your belt is higher than your bra. <laughs> <laughs> That's very amusing. I'm sorry, Mom. I guess they aren't as funny when they're true. Um, thank you, darling. Yeah, you're probably wondering where my present is. I thought, uh, well, now that you're driving to school and work so much, that we could go out on Saturday and pick up that new car. Really? Absolutely. Well, the car you're driving now is practically a death trap. Can I have it? Sure. Oh, <laughs> And don't worry, if this vet thing doesn't pan out, at least you got a new car out of it. Well, what do you mean if it doesn't pan out? Well, I mean, like, if you know, in a couple of years you change your mind or something. Well, why would I change my mind? Well, I'm not saying you will. It just happens all the time. You know, somebody your age wakes up and suddenly decides they want a career without, you know, really knowing what they're getting into. Oh, is that what you think this is, a midlife crisis? Well, I thought a midlife crisis is when you started acting younger and take a lover and stuff like that. Well, it doesn't always happen that way. It affects different people different ways. 
Well, what is that supposed to mean? I'm not the type to take a lover? Maggie, you're twisting everything around here. Oh, you think you know me so well? Well, I could surprise you, Art. I mean, I could really surprise you. Maybe I already have a lover. I could have a dozen lovers. How do you know that I'm not up in bed every afternoon with the milkman? What's a milkman? Way back when, they used to deliver milk to the house. Just milk? No, milk, uh, butter, cheese, you know, dairy products. How about bread? No, just dairy products. Is anyone taking me seriously here? If it's any consolation, Mrs. Day, I think it'll pan out. I mean, it's not like you're trying to be a real doctor. Thank you, Reg. You know, while we're on the subject of careers, you might want to think about making your cartoons funnier. Well, they're not supposed to be funny. I mean, that's his gimmick. It's okay. I think she's just threatened by my homosexuality. Reg, you are not gay! <laughs> I may not be the smartest woman in the world, but I know what funny is. Cartoons are funny. String in a can is funny. I think it's particularly funny that I'm 40 years old and all I have to show for it is a marriage to an RD that isn't even a grape anymore! Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to kick my breasts out of the way and go to bed. <laughs> kick my breasts out of the way? <laughs> I can never think of things like that to say. I mean, Kim, uh, this is the part where I need the therapy. <laughs> oh, right. <clears throat> First of all, you have nothing to feel guilty about. But all these feelings. It doesn't matter. You can't control your feelings. You can control your actions. You have done nothing wrong. You're right, I haven't. I have a good marriage. I love my husband. Everything was fine until Richard came along and got me all confused. In two weeks, that man has made my life a living hell. He's the reason I'm so miserable. Good. Let it all out. And you know the worst thing? He's leaving today. <laughs> all you have to do now is think about how you're going to say goodbye. Hi, Maggie. Bye, Richard. Terrible news. My wife left me for another man. Oh, no. It was your husband. Oh, no. Hi, Amy. Maggie, you don't work today. Oh, I just came in to say hi. You know, maybe pick up my paycheck. Say goodbye to Richard. Oh, he's already gone. What? Yeah, he got called away to deliver a calf. Oh. But he wanted me to give you this. Maggie Day, DVM. He said you were going to make a great vet. Really? Yeah. I got a paddle ball. <laughs> you know, I kind of think he had a thing for me. <laughs> Hi. Maggie, you're home. I didn't hear you come in. Yeah, I, I don't hear the stereo. Where's Amanda? Oh, she's spending the night at Rich's. Oh, I've told her a million times. No, it's my times. idea. There's nothing to worry about. He's gay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, I thought it'd be nice to have the house for ourselves tonight. Why? Well, I've been so wrapped up in myself lately, I haven't been paying any attention to you, so I thought maybe we could study for that test together. You know, in the bathtub. Art, I took that test a week ago. Oh. Oh, you want to take a bath anyway? Oh, I don't know. I'm kind of tired. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I just remembered. I have to make a call. Hello? Uh, hi. Maggie, it's Art. Uh, you know, from biology class? Oh, the big dorky guy? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> Uh, I thought you might want to come over and 
help me study. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of late. Ah. Well, yeah, it's better you don't. I mean, if you came over, we'd just take a bath and probably fall in love and spend the rest of our lives together. I'm on my way. I'll go run the water. <laughs> I love you, you know? I love you, too. Uh, I'll be in in a minute. Uh, uh, this is for Kim. Um, it's Maggie Day. I just want to let her know that I don't think I'll be needing to come in again, so thanks. I just wanted to let her know that I'm okay. Bye. Weapon season! Duck season! Weapon season! Duck season! Weapon season! Maggie? Duck you coming? Season. I'm right there. Amy, I need two muzzles. One for the dog, one for the owner. Oh, coming right up. I don't understand. What happened to Dr. Babcock? What do you know about the Bermuda Triangle? Amy, what happened to Dr. Babcock? He ran off with some girl in Fiji. You know, you think you know somebody. Anyway, Dr. Myers is going to be here permanently. Great. Care to assist? I'll be in in a minute. Amy? Kim, it's Maggie Day. How soon can we start? 